We're going to go back to uh, Sergeant Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs uh, here in just a moment. And the reason is he was telling me even more amazing stuff that I actually already knew about uh, a little bit. But the, the firsthand accounts were simply incredible. So actually, guys, pull up some of those news articles about uh, the Marshall Plan from Wired, uh, the, uh, the uh, drugs they were forcing the troops to take that were making them hallucinate. I want him to tell you about this, though, himself and how the officers didn't take the vaccines but made them do it and just how insane all this was. Because this is in the news, but, I, but, it's, but, but when you're hearing it from a combat soldier when you're out there, you know, uh, wake surfing with them on Lake Austin and you, you see the bullet wound, you know, uh, scars on them, it just really brings it home how they're setting people up. And he was asking me, why do they do that? I have the answers. Why? And so I'm going to break this down for all the troops listening to understand what's going on. And I know you'll get demoted if you don't take the uh, Percocets when they order you to, but even when you're not even hurt, I mean, we're going to explain what this is all about. We're going to go to him just for about 10 minutes. Then uh, a, a, an original real Black Panther Party member, not the new racist groups the feds run, uh, is going to be popping in because he called us today after seeing the MSNBC saying, I'm a deeply racist with no evidence. Larry Pinckney wants to uh, talk for about five minutes about that. He's going to pop in and give us his quick take on that. Uh, and then Red Beckman's going to be almost about 30 minutes, but interspersed with news, the founder of the Fully Informed Jury Association. But before we go back and get this testimony here from uh, Staff Sergeant Biggs, he's just a great guy, uh, you know, fun to hang out with uh, and get his testimony on record. I want to tell you about eFoods Direct, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're all concerned that FEMA has been reaching out to storable food companies, and they've got proof of it, asking for information on how much food they could ship in a major disaster. It makes most of us really nervous. There's a reason they're doing this, and uh, we're going to be telling you about it in an interview when I have them on with Steve Shanks uh, coming up next Tuesday. So I'm just letting you know that's coming up. It's true that FEMA and other agencies have a huge job. Uh, we're going to tell you how big the job is now and virtually impossible to accomplish. But we've uh, got answers, and we'll share them with you in the interview. I'm going to ask Steve to come on next Tuesday, August 20th. And uh, you can also, of course, always check out our sponsor at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. They've got a free shipping deal going on right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash uh, Alex. And this isn't really a plug. You can just go to their website and find uh, the number there at eFoodsDirect forward slash uh, Alex or 800-409-5633 to call and get the specials. Also, InfidelBodyArmor.com stops hundreds of rounds of AK-47, M4, 306, 308, and more. Uh, the ceramic only stops six rounds. What about the seventh? This stops hundreds and was developed by a military policeman, engineer, he's a bunch of other stuff. We've had him on, a really interesting guy. Uh, it's, it's rated level three body armor. They got backpacks, a giant catalog. Check it out at infidelbodyarmor.com, infidelbodyarmor.com, or 888 608 6605. Infidelbodyarmor.com. The longest lasting body armor is now cheaper than most ammo. Uh, and finally, folks, if you go to infowarstore.com, and it is your buying of the great products that help you and your family, that you and your family deserve, that also makes this broadcast possible. So we find the best books, the videos, the films, the t-shirts, the, the vitamins, the minerals, the seaweed, the iodine, uh, the, you know, the tinctures of all these other great things at InfoWarsStore.com. And then we give you the lowest prices, the lowest these people will let us give you. A lot of times they're like, this is the lowest you can go. And sometimes we you know, almost kind of cheat and throw in free citizen rule books, what we always do, and bumper stickers and stuff. InfoWarsStore. Dot com And thank you all for your support. But support your family. Stop drinking the poison tap water. Get the Pro Pure system, lowest price anywhere at InfoWarsStore.com. With promo code WATER, you get 10% off the already lowest price at InfoWarsStore.com. And again, we couldn't do it without your support. Literally buying war bonds in the fight against the globalist. Now, a couple days ago, I guess this would have been uh, Tuesday now, How Time Flies, uh, my buddy Shane had been inviting me out on his uh, ski boat out on uh, Lake Austin, which is just beautiful cliffs and like jungly, uh, really beautiful area. And I, I love it when I get to go out there. And, and, and he'd been asking me to go for a week. So come on, let's take our kids out. And I thought, well, Sergeant Joe Biggs is going to be here, Staff Sergeant. Let me just go ahead and bring him along with us. He said, oh, great. Yeah, I'd love to, love to meet him. And, of course, he hit it off with my friends. And we, we had a great time about five hours out there on the lake and went and ate dinner. And we're out there. By the way, uh, Staff Sergeant Biggs jumped on the wake surfboard. He's been a surfer, never wake surfboard, and just immediately was doing a great job surfing the wake. That was pretty cool. Uh, so my buddies were impressed with that. 
and um, we're sitting there, sitting back, drinking a beer, and he's going, man, I tell you, it's, it's, we were talking about young people and how many of them are on drugs and how bad it is. And he goes, yeah, I tell you, they would order us. And, and when he was saying all this, I already knew this was all true. But it was hitting me how real it was. That if you look up the Marshall Plan article from 10 years ago in Wired Magazine, just the Marshall Plan, wired.com, search that term, it'll come up. Or troops ordered to take antipsychotics that make you hallucinate. That'll pull up, you know, uh, mainstream news articles. They put them on uh, aggression drugs, testosterone, GH. They give the special forces amnesics after they've come in from orders to slaughter whole villages. Really to commit war crimes. But Biggs was just regular army, but heavy combat. You know, three tours, two in Afghanistan, one in Iraq. Michael Hastings wrote about it. You know, just heavy battles. Uh, and got shrapnel scars all over him, bullet wounds, you name it. So seen a lot of stuff. And, you know, he talked about torture he saw and other things. And kind of said, well, quite frankly, they're trying to blow us up. You know, what are they going to do? But the, and that's not endorsing. It's just this is, this is real life, ladies and gentlemen. But then he goes, what we really didn't like was them flying in helicopter loads of Percocet and ordering us to take it when no one was hurt. Now, I'm saying all this so it's on record, but I want him to just come in and tell you briefly what he saw and what he witnessed. And then he asked me, why do they do that? And then... A year later, they go, okay, now everybody's ordered to get off of them. You're going to be drug tested. But, oh, incidentally, they're not really drug tested for the opium. So, see, oh, you're on one opiate, now there's another. That's what this is really about, priming you to be distributors when you get back in the CIA. I have to know because that's come out in congressional hearings from Vietnam and then again in the 80s with cocaine. But it's also about then saying you're compromised while you're a drug addict. But the gen and I can open the phones up, folks. The Army, the Marines, they're all ordered on this stuff. Special forces, they're testing even weirder stuff on them. So that's how this all goes on. So I won't keep you long, buddy. I know you got to get back to college today and then back to your night job. Uh, but uh, great to have you here, and it was great getting to meet you in person. Uh, tell, I mean, j j just recap what I just said and fill in any other stuff, because you were asking me why. I just told you from my research perspective. But uh, break down in your own words what, what you told me on the boat. Well, some of the first things I always noticed was I remember when flu season would come around, they would, uh, you know, all order us into these uh, huge, uh, like, theaters and line us up and make us take the shot or the nasal spray. And, you know, and I would refuse. I'd be like, I don't want to take this. It makes me sick. I feel 10 times worse throughout the year. Every time I've been, you know, before I was in the military, I never got the flu. And now I'm constantly having headaches. I'm constantly not feeling good. And they would just line us up like cattle in these, Theaters and make us take them, and then not only that, the high-ranking officers and they weren't even having to take it. And I'm sitting there asking some of these guys, I was like, hey, you know, I was one of the first people here. I saw the commander come in. Why is he not taking it? And, you know, they just told me to shut up. It's above my pay grade, not to worry about it. You know, so why do I have to feel bad and you can't? Why do I have to have all these injections all the time? And by the way, that's the ultimate discrimination. Well, they're saying rodeo clowns are racist now if you talk bad about Obama. But uh, the underclass of, of, of uh, you know, uh, enlisted men and the non-commissioned officers, SSGs like yourself, you're being given shot after shot that's on record deadly. And, and they've had to suspend smallpox shots, anthrax that's killed people where the base doctors refuse. But on record, it's come out the German military, the brass don't have to take the shots either. Uh, incredible. And, and you said folks would get in trouble if they didn't take it, right? Oh, I mean, because I, I would say, hey, I'm not going to take this. And they're like, well, you know, we can take uh, action against you. You know, we could drop you down in rank, uh, put you on some kind of suspension, you know, basically just threaten me that if I didn't take the stuff, that, you know, there would be some kind of punishment. Amazing. Uh, and uh, in fact, you were saying, you'd say, well, why don't you have to take it? And they'd say, shut up. <laughs> I mean, I can't so, imagine, like, why do you, why do I have to if you don't? It's incredible. Yeah. You go first, man. This is so good. It's like Jim Jones, drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, you know, in Afghanistan, we got out here on this, uh, the last time I was out there, you know, the, the our doc or whatever would walk around and hand us like a strip of Percocets. And at first it was just like three or four. And then next thing you know, as the months go on, they're flying in helicopters and dropping off crates, <laughs> and it'd be like these drunk Russian guys flying in these, uh, you know, contracted helicopters, and then push a crate off the back, and next thing you know, you're getting 50 at a time and things like that, and, you know, 
We're like, why are we taking all these things? They're like, yeah, you know, it's to help, you know, take your mind off stuff, help numb the pain. And I'm like, well, I'm not hurt. I don't really have any pain. They're like, oh, you know, just make it, you know, to get blown up, it won't hurt as bad. Just don't think about it. You know, it'll be easy. And next thing you know, you got guys feeding. And when the helicopters are flying in, they're like basically just like, hey, when's the next helicopter coming? And when's the next helicopter coming? And we need to get our, uh, our refill. We need our refill. <laughs> And see, and, uh, and again, this is open drugging with serious narcotics of army soldiers. This, the, the, the Nazis did this as well with speed and, and, and other things to get you addicted and to get you morally in a haze. Uh, in fact, you were describing just, I don't want to put words in your mouth, describe what it made you like when it came to killing or even being worried about being killed. Yeah, we were, uh, I'll never forget this one day, I remember looking at my uh, driver, Turner, and uh, we're like, hey, that looks like an IED in the road. And he's like, yeah, you know, we're like, should we stop and check it out? Or we're like, no, nah, let's just roll over. We got a, a heavily armed MRAP. We'll be okay. At least the other guys won't get hurt. Like, we're not going to feel anything anyways. And, you know, you were just kind of like, why even waste the time to get out? Let's just drive over it really quick and put an end to this. And So you, you guys literally it. were already being turned into biological robots. And, uh, by the way, I'm going to email you this, uh, but I looked it up after I told you about it just from memory. The Pentagon said this is to make you like robots uh, ahead of being replaced with real robots. So, uh, I mean, does that make you angry that they would try to addict troops to to hardcore narcotics? Uh, as well, definitely, a yeah, definitely after what happened to one of my guys. One of my guys, because like I said, when it got to be, you know, we're about a month out from uh, leaving country. You know, our commander was like, "Hey, you guys need to get off that stuff. We're going to start drug testing again, and you don't want to fail this." You know, at this point, everyone's pretty much addicted. They're scratching their arms left and right. And, I mean, it got so bad that when we got back, we had a soldier try to go to the hospital to get a prescription for painkillers, and they told him no, they weren't going to give him any. So what he did is he got a gun and shot himself in the leg to wound himself so he could go back to the hospital so he would get Percocet. And then the doctor just gave him Tylenol 3s and told him, hey, you know, you, you have a serious drug problem. We need to... Uh, give you some kind of uh, mental evaluation. We need to uh, do some testing and possibly Bing. some uh, action to get you out of the military. Bingo. You just said it right there. Bingo. I've, I've looked at it. The number one reason they say they're going to disarm troops is they've got it in your file that you were ordered. And this is pretty much everybody in the Army I've talked to in combat or, or Marines, you name it. You were ordered to go on this, and then they have a record you were on this or you fail a drug test. And then now they can take your right to own guns away or give you a dishonorable discharge or make you go to a psychological evaluation to then strip your rights there. So, I mean, is that chilling to know that the Pentagon was trying to set you up the whole time you were out there? Yeah, I mean, it's, every day in the military, is, like I said, from day one, you're, you know, your whole idea is that, you know, I'm this patriot, I'm doing everything I can for, you know, the red, white, and blue, and the next thing you know, you're, seeing all this crazy stuff going on and it just it does piss you off because you 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 know you meant to join something that was pure and that you thought was so true and then you know really they're just trying to screw you over at the end of the day throughout the, your career yeah absolutely the globalists hate men in uniform more than anybody and as soon as they can go to automated war wagons and autonomous drones, it's over. It's on record. No more combat trips. People don't believe that. There'll be special units that go along with the robots. That's it. And this is so the technocrats can be in charge. Can you imagine the cowardly little globalist, uh, th how much they hate people that have courage and thought they were fighting for America? That's why Homeland Security says veterans are the number one enemy and terror threat on record. We broke that five years ago. It's now, of course, mainstream news. And I just want you to know, Staff Sergeant Biggs, that's where the rabbit hole goes. Because you were asking me, why did they tell us to take these drugs? And that's why. And just be glad you weren't in the real you know, secret stuff. They put those guys on amnesics after missions. It's basically mind control. Uh, I mean, all, the, uh, all, the, all the special forces guys that I knew, they were all on some kind of testosterone or HDH, and that was just medically prescribed to them. I mean, they were able to fly on planes with it, basically. I mean, they, didn't, they could go through anything without fear of it being taken. Yeah, and that's just what you know about. They give them amnesics, and then they wake up a couple of days later. I'll leave it at that. I mean, it's still on record, but basically, have you seen the new uh, the new Manchurian candidate with Denzel Washington? Yeah, I saw that.
that's real, buddy. That yeah. that that stuff's at least thirty years old. So um, I wouldn't doubt it. No, I, I know medical doctors. That, well, I'm not going to get off into it. The point is, is that there's a lot going on underground. I mean, you were regular army, and look at all the stuff you saw. Yeah, I know. Hey, I hear after you came on the show, Shepard Smith's blowing your phone up. You gonna? I say go on there. What have you found out since this morning? What he wants you on about? They kind of they didn't really give me. They kept bouncing around. I kept asking the guy as producer. Kept calling me. When I woke up, I turned my phone on this morning. And I had like three or four emails and missed calls from, you know, Duke, New Jersey numbers, New York numbers. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I started listening to all these uh, voicemails and some guy from the Shepherd, the Shepherd, what's his last name? Shepherd Smith or whatever from Fox News kept blowing me up saying that they wanted to talk about the CIA and John Brennan, I think. And then they kind of said some other things. I couldn't quite make it out. But I don't know. I told him I'd think about it. Go on there, man. Hit him and hit him hard. I mean, you went yeah. on there with uh, Cupcake before and did pretty good. Um, yeah, but she was a disaster. <laughs> yeah, but this is your second go-around, brother, and if you're live, you can talk about whatever you want. Yeah. Of course, they're listening yeah, right true. now, but I, I say go on there live and torpedoes away, buddy. Yeah, well, I told them tomorrow. I'd give them, or I, I'd wait till tomorrow and give an answer. All right, well, don't take my advice. I, I'm just saying I would do it. What do you think you're going to do? I don't know. I'm asleep on it. All right, Joe. Well, great meeting you in person, and uh, can't wait to come down to Austin again. You're a fun guy to hang out with, and uh, Shane and everybody said the same thing. So God bless you. It's good to know a real person who stands up for the truth, and uh, we appreciate you, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, man. I thank you for having me down there, and like I said, uh, your crew is completely dedicated with some of the most amazing people to meet, and it's great that you have those kind of people surrounded by you every day. Yeah, we're blessed to have this wonderful crew, and we're blessed to have our great supporters and everybody out there that's uh, on the team of Liberty. We're all in this together. All right, y'all, say bye to you during the break. We'll be back with Larry Pinckney on MSNBC saying, I'm deeply racist and connected to bombers and the Easter Bunny. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.